Hello and welcome to my tech farm. In this video I am testing Wemben flexible build system and uh, actually I already did some uh, PI sheet reviews on this channel and every time I got several comments that I should try uh, Wemben uh, flexible PX sheets because they are great. And actually a few weeks ago they contacted me about the dimensions of the Ender 2 Pro and uh, they also offered me that they will send me three different products uh, if I want to test them and do a review video about them. And I asked for three products. Uh, one is for the Ender 2 Pro, which uh, already have the magnetic base. So here I only needed uh, the PEX uh, sheet on a steel plate. The second will be for the Artillery Genius Pro, which uh, have this uh, non removable glass bed. And the third one is for uh, Ender 3 V2. Why these three? I will talk about that more uh, later in this video. Now, just a few words why I always recommend the flexible PI sheets co uh, compared to the glass. And uh, uh, very often I'm asked by my friends uh, what printer to buy for their kids, is it safe or, or what are the dangers. And uh, most common injuries I notice that uh, are made by this tool. And this is the spatula for removing the object from the glass surface and uh, because it sticks to the bed and uh, you cannot uh, easily start removing it. With the flexible sheet you can start peeling it from the one corner and very easily you can remove it so you don't need this sharp and dangerous tool for this. And what I find out about the Van Bam system that their film and uh, magnets resist up to 150 degrees Celsius so they are very uh, temperature resistant and uh, it is very easy uh, to peel off the object when it's cooled down. Well, this will be tested in this video. Let's see what's in the box first. Well, actually I got two boxes. And one is this slab mat. This is some kind of uh, silicon surface. Uh, more about this uh, later at the end of this video. And the second one is this Wham Bam flexible build system. This is uh, some kind of steel wool for, to, for the activating of the surface. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the first one, flexible build system with 3M stickers. So this is the magnet part. And the upper is on a steel sheet. The PEX surface. There is another one with the same dimensions. Uh, I think they are a little bit bigger than I need. I will measure that later. And the third one is for the Ender 2 Pro. 165 by 165 and here uh, I only have this steel plate uh, with this uh, PEX surface on it. Ah, I have to place the PEX to this steel, okay. And here it's already pre-installed on previous two. Mm -hmm. At least I can show that in this video too. Okay, let's start with the uh, Ender 2 Pro. What you should know about the dimensions of the print surface on Ender 2 Pro, this um, soft magnetic surface is 170 by 170 millimeters, but the aluminium plate or magnetic plate is uh, 165 by 165. What is very interesting because theoretically this is the maximum uh, printing dimensions too. Usually we have some margin or some additional few millimeters. So here I'm not sure if you want to use the whole uh, area. You are printing actually on the edge of this uh, surface. Here we have this so-called soft magnetic uh, surface. This means that uh, the base is magnetic but also this surface is also magnetic. Now, uh, what I don't like with this surface that uh, it is too soft. And sometimes when I print some uh, bigger object which uh, warps a little bit, even if I have a good adhesion, uh, it can lift the corners very easily. I will show you, I will try to measure with this hanging scale. I'm not sure is it visible, but uh, less than 0 0.1 kilogram was needed to lift the corners here. And uh, let's try with this steel sheet. Uh, it doesn't have installed the PEX sheet yet, but uh, I can show you. 
that I can feel now it is much stronger. Now for Ender 2 Pro uh, I got this steel plate and this PX sheet separately so I have to glue this uh, here and on the other side I have this 3M tape. I place the steel here so it will not move, it will be easier to work with. I will clean it with isopropyl alcohol. I will start to remove this 3M sticker, maybe just two centimeters on the back side. It is very important to start properly. And I will use something like credit card or something like that to press any air out of it. Now according to this manual, it says it is best practice to allow the 3M uh, bond to cure for 72 hours uh, for maximum adhesion, but uh, 24 hours gets you about 90% of ultimate adhesion. Well, I'm not sure is it only for the magnetic base or properly with this uh, PX uh, sheet too. Uh, anyway, I will try first the soft magnetic base. I will print some object measuring the adhesion and then I will uh, activate the van band with this steel wool and then uh, try to print on it. Clearing the surface with some isopropyl alcohol. Bed adhesion 20 by 10 millimeters base. Printing is finished, I will keep the bed temperature on 60 degrees Celsius. Okay, the adhesion is very good, 0 0.8 kilograms I think, I hope it is visible on camera. Okay, now it says the van band, but one thing I want to check first, and this is the thickness, approximately 0 0.9 millimeters and very similar thickness, maybe 0 0.86-87 millimeters here. Uh, anyway, I have to re-level the bed again, but I'm just curious how much I have to move the springs, because the Z limit switch is fixed. If I would have a BL touch here, it always measures the position from the top surface, and I wouldn't have to change anything. Now, of course, I have to remove the protection foil. Then I have to activate the surface with this steel wool. I don't have to do this every time, just after, I know, maybe after a couple of months when I lose the bed adhesion again. As a propyl alcohol. I started out of home and I want to level the bed and I don't have to worry that nozzle will hit the surface because uh, on Ender 2 Pro it is uh, on the side. Bed is leveled and I can repeat the printing. Yes, I forget to mention that according to the manual I have to raise the bed temperature to 70 degrees Celsius. Printing is finished and I will set the bed temperature so it will not cool down. Zero point forty four kilograms I think. 
So in this case it was not so strong as on this uh, soft magnetic surface but of course it depends uh, of the bed leveling size it is manual so it may be different to the settings but anyway uh, so far I'm quite happy with this uh, bed attention. The next is RTL Genius Pro. Here I will install uh, this uh, Wemben flexible build system where I have a uh, few layers. So this is the magnetic base which will be sticked with this uh, 3M tape. And then I have this uh, steel sheet and the PX is already pre-installed on it, only on one side. Now the reason why I asked for exactly this product is that uh, I have a lot of uh, cold spots, uh, four big cold spots where the, the knob are and also I have a very big uh, cold spot here and here on this side. And I'm curious if I, I add an additional layer, especially this steel, uh, I hope it will act like an uh, additional layer which will uh, spread the heat more equally. Mm, I will see that uh, later. But first I will do the test print on this surface to measure the adhesion and then I can compare it with the Bam Bam. Bad adhesion test. Confirm. Printing is finished and I will set the bed temperature to stay on the 60 degrees Celsius. Mm, very good bed adhesion. Okay, it's time to install the VAMBAM system and first I will start with this magnet. And in email I got information from the VAMBAM that uh, the s printed surface of the artillery plates are famous for bed adhesion to 3M adhesives. And I will need to use some sandpaper to uh, cut through the artillery surface so I can get 3M mount to the glass as much as possible. Okay, uh, well in that case uh, no back way, so I'll try to remove this surface. In the meantime I noticed one more problem, these glass dimensions are 230 by 230 millimeters and uh, this base is 235 by 235, so it's a little bit bigger. Well, I have here 240 millimeter space between these two alloy extrusion, but I have to be very precise to place it in the center. But let's finish the sandpapering. Now cleaning of the glass, I will start with this uh, windows cleaner and then later with isopropyl alcohol. Don't forget to turn it off and unplug the power cable because this bed is heated by the AC power below it. Isopropyl alcohol at the end. Okay, it will go this way and I have to pay attention that uh, it will uh, overhang at two and a half millimeters on each side and it has to be in the center. I will again remove here two centimeters of the stick, 3M stick tape. And this is the most important part to start it parallelly. And it is very important to press all the air below it. And the moment of the true. And I have to pay attention when I place this uh, plate and it also has to be in the center uh, to avoid hitting these uh, vertical extrusions. Now let's remove the protection foil. And activate the surface with the steel wool. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the 3M uh, needs uh, at least 24 or 72 hours to maximum adhesion. Uh, but I wait only a couple of hours and I will clean the bed and try to repeat that uh, printing. 
Now, Genius Pro have reinstalled Be Touch. This means it measures the position of the Z uh, from the top surface it touches. This means I don't have to re-level the bed again, uh, only I will uh, run the auto bed leveling, so in just in case it is not completely equal like the previous surface, maybe it's under the angle or something like that, in that case it will know that and the, the auto bed leveling sensor will compensate that during the printing. Okay, so far so good, so the first layer is okay. I have to wait for printing to be finished. So what I noticed is that uh, there are some cold spots, uh, especially in the corners, uh, but the heating is more equal, uh, measuring from the center. And uh, what I also noticed that it, it needs a little bit more uh, heating time. Of course, because we added uh, now another layer that's still plate, which has also has to be heated. Printing is finished. Let's keep the constant temperature. Mm -hmm, 0 0.22 I think let's check the skirt well actually skirt stick quite good Oop. and the third plate goes to the industry we totally replace this old glass but in this case I will not measure adhesion to this glass because it's different. This is an early version of Industry V2s uh, and this glass has extremely good uh, adhesion to the, the material. Uh, I noticed that because uh, a month ago we bought uh, an Industry V2 on my workplace and it arrived with completely different uh, glass. I noticed it's more like grey color and it doesn't have so strong adhesion like this one here. Instead I will measure the adhesion to the Bam Bam uh, plates only but with PLA, PTG and ABS and I will follow the instructions from the manual. And also I want to test if I'm able to use this uh, glass on uh, top of this uh, Bam Bam uh, PEX plate and for this I will measure the temperature. First I will measure when will it reach the 60 degrees Celsius and I will repeat that when it will be placed on top of this Bam Bam uh, PEX plate. I will draw this temperature sensor in the center of this bed with this Captain tape. Room temperature 24 degrees Celsius. Fifty degrees Celsius in two and a half minutes. And actually this is the maximum it can reach. It don't go above the fifty-five degrees Celsius with this sensor. But at least now I have the reference. So in first step I will install this uh, magnetic base on this aluminium plate. And of course starting with cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. And again starting removing the sticker for only first uh, two centimeters. And it is very important again to start parallelly. And now the steel plate with the already pre-installed PEX layer. And I can remove the protection foil now. Activating the surface with some isopropyl alcohol and uh, steel wool. And cleaning with isopropyl alcohol and after curing or drying the glue, uh, it is ready for the printing. On this printer I already have installed CR touch, so I don't have to re-level the bed again. Only I will run uh, once the auto leveling uh, to check if there are any difference in thickness maybe on one side or something like that and then it's ready for printing. And now let's see, can I still use the glass on this magnetic base? Placing the sensor in the same position like, like in the previous measuring. Heating to 60 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius in 3 minutes and 20 seconds. 
So approximately one minute more. And let's see what will be the maximum. It looks like the maximum is uh, 53 degrees Celsius. Previously it was 55. So this means, uh, yes, it is possible to use the glass on the magnetic surface. Uh, only it needs a little bit more heating time. And uh, maybe I will raise the bed temperature by, I don't know, 2 or 3 degrees Celsius. And now it's time to print something and I will start with PLA. Zero point uh, forty two. The next material is the Creole TPTG. Hmm, half kilograms, that's good. Test will be ESAN ABS Plus. And I will try to print it without the enclosure. I will add the brim to the printing, but no enclosure. The bed is preheated to 110 degrees Celsius. And we will see without enclosure, will it be printed correctly. Hmm, very good. This was a very pleasant surprise for ABS. And it's completely flat, so it has very good adhesion during the printing. And just a few words about the slap mat. And here also we have some stickers and some basic instructions. It is silicon material which is uh, temperature resistant but also it is advertised like uh, recommended for SLA printers because the resin will not stick to it. Now I didn't know that this will be sent to me, this was a surprise, and uh, but I don't have SLA CD printer but uh, I'm doing some soldering, so I will test it with the soldering uh, how resistant high temperatures. The dimensions are 50 centimeters by 24 centimeters, and it has nice edge, so the, the smaller parts will not roll down from it. Actually, I'm using something similar for the soldering. Okay, the solder doesn't stick to it. And, uh, well, I can see some dirt on it, but let's try to clean it. Just let me turn off the soldering iron. Okay, I hope it's visible on camera. Well, let's try to remove it with the isopropyl alcohol. Oh, like a new, completely removed. So I say I don't have SLAC the printer, um, this is the most common uh, method I will use it for, so for the soldering. But also, uh, according to the website, the glue will not stick to this, well, acts like uh, every other silicone uh, surface. Okay, now the conclusion, but uh, mostly I will talk about uh, this uh, PEX uh, surface and uh, 
I, I, I like the surface, so I was expecting a little bit bigger adhesion to the PLA, uh, but it was very present surprise that the ABS sticks to it very good. Okay, so uh, this is very promising. Uh, space for improvement, uh, well, I would like to see instead of engraving Longo, it would be much useful to see some grid lines. Uh, let's say one centimeter or inch or something like that because in that case if I print some smaller parts I know exactly where I have to put some adhes adhesives the glue stick or something like that uh, if I will need it maybe because uh, so far uh, it looks like I don't have to use the adhesives uh, well I will see maybe I will try to print some nylon you will see I have a lot of problems with e-sun uh, nylon the test is still in progress it's the test is still in progress, uh, you will see at yellow I had a lot of problems with the warping. Anyway, uh, not only me, but a lot of comments recommended this uh, product and with the reasons. So it is great uh, for uh, even for PLA, but uh, for PETG and ABS it, it sticks perfect. And uh, it's very promising. For ABS I had to use it on 110 degrees Celsius and it is very good that, that this can uh, hold the temperature, resist to temperature up to 150 degrees Celsius. Uh, uh, that will be it. If you have uh, some additional experience with the uh, Van Bam uh, flexible build systems, write me down in the comments. Thank you for watching and happy printing!